To say that 2020 was a different year for voting would be wildly underselling just how much the world changed with the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, I can't even be sure things are totally back to normal when you're watching this, but what I am sure of is like a lot of you out there, we here at Powerboat Television were able to find a silver lining and discover a whole new love for our favorite activity right here in our own backyard. And our backyard of Ontario has a rich history of boat building. If you're feeling nostalgic, you should be. In the 70s and 80s, the J-Craft was the quintessential ski boat. It worked extremely well for slalom and even better for barefooting because it had virtually no wake at high speed. Of course, this was before wakeboarding came in and flipped the tow boat game on its head. In the 90s, the company went bankrupt like a lot of Ontario boat manufacturers, but John Jones's original hull designs were out there. Fast forward some 20 odd years, J-Craft is back with some wicked new improvements to bring it speeding into the 2020s. We were invited here to the factory in Perry Sound to see just how they're breathing new life into these boats. I'm not an employee, but luckily, Chris gave me the secret knock. Drew. Chris. How you doing? Come Great. on in. Great. Thanks for having yeah, us. Come on in. So Drew, this is uh, upholstery. This is where Gwen makes her magic. And um, as you can see, we're well underway with another set. You know, you referred as you came in as the factory. Uh, we don't look at this place as a factory. This is our studio. This is the J Studio. And this is where we create works of art. What originally motivated you to rebirth this lot? I've had a couple of Js growing up, two or three, three. I have a marina. We renovate boats. We did a J for a customer, Randy Marshall. And when I took it for a test run to see how it performed, I just wanted that boat. So that led me to uh, talk to John Spaeth, who was building them uh, in small quantities, and realized that we needed to build a new boat, a bigger boat, and here we are. So how important is it that you stay true to that original J vision? This truly is a California ski boat. It still is. It's always going to be. Materials are better, procedures are better. There's many changes on the boat, but essentially the, the interior space is 20% larger. It's 21 feet. For somebody who's maybe not as familiar with water skiing, how would these J's compare to the inboard ski boats that we see a lot today? Well, the key element to this boat is that it's simple. There's nothing more fun to drive. It drives like a 911 on rails. It's low to the water. It'll take all the training booms. We've actually incorporated a tower for 2021 for barefooting, not for wakeboarding. It is not a wakeboard boat. No. The wake is very, very low. If you know the J's, you know that. If you don't know a J, there's no wake. Yeah. I grew up skiing with J crafts, and it, to see them back on the water is just such a cool thing now. It's overwhelming. The amount of people coming out of the woodwork. Our first boat that we sold, as soon as he saw the boat, he bought it on the spot, the first one. Bam. And how much do you guys build in-house on each boat? All of it. Everything. Soup to nuts, yeah. Frames of the seats, the upholstery. These seats are identical, except for one thing. They're bigger. <laughs> because everyone tends to be a little, a bit, little bigger. bit bigger nowadays. For 2021, we actually have a full redesigned rear seat. Can't wait to see the rest of it. Yeah, let's go. Come on in here, Drew. We have a look at a plug that we're doing for a little creature comfort on the foot kick. It's a cup holder and accessory tray. From this plug, we'll do a fiberglass mold. From that fiberglass mold, we'll lay a fiberglass part. Obviously, we haven't had any right, cup no, holders no in the past. No cup holders on the old Jays. This is a new thing coming in for 2021. Yep. Are you still using wood in the construction of the boats? Absolutely. You know, there's many characteristics, uh, technical characteristics, but most of the construction of the framework and the floor and everything is still wood. It's safe to use if used properly. And has the wood changed at all since back in the day? All materials have gotten better, but we still take the precautions of wet coating everything and all the templates and patterns, and we use wood for a lot of stuff. That's why this little department's uh, essential. But no fiberglass in here? No fiberglass in here, outside. All right. Let's go. So this is one of our, or my at least, most proudest pieces. Yeah. Let's have a look. This is our prized possession, the molds. This is what makes it all happen. Traditionally, these were made by hand. This new 21 mold was made in CAD. We first scanned a prototype, and then refined roughly about 15 little things, took the motor well out and whatnot. It's all symmetrical. It's all perfect. 
So how does your construction differ from some other manufacturers? This is bonded together, so it makes it essentially one solid piece. And that's one of the things about the J. Yeah. It's always been a very solid boat. This is the mold. We just pulled the deck out of it. Let's go have a look. Cool. And this is it. This was just pulled out a couple of days ago. Any little specks that aren't quite 100% will make them 100%. To see the finished product, let's have a look. Right over here. Now this is this is uh, the thing of beauty. This is my actually favorite boat. Yeah, yeah. So on the old versions, there's the traditional transom with the well in it, but this is not traditional boat building anymore, right? Hence the jack plate. There is no reason for a well. Bass boats, bay boats, they all have jack plates, and it just gives you more versatility. This one's set up for ski schools yep. and people that would ski a little bit more. There's no back seat. Right. In 2021, we have a, a totally different back seat that will grow into side seats and whatnot right. over time. But for right now, we have a back seat. And another great Canadian invention, which we haven't seen before on outboards, the Perfect Pass. Yeah, the Perfect Pass Stargazer is fantastic. We've been running this through the course. If you know anything about Perfect Pass, has elevated this boat oh, as yeah. a ski boat, leaps and bounds. Are there other outboard boats that have perfect pass on them? I don't think I've ever seen one. No, it's the first. You want 34 miles an hour, you get 34 miles an hour. You want 32.5, you get 32.5. Once you get above a certain speed, 36 miles an hour, goes into barefoot mode. We actually have had a couple pro barefooters behind it that love the fact they can dial in their speed. Yeah, and something else that barefooters would love, the boom setup. This actually has a fiberglass stringer. In that fiberglass stringer, there's half inch aluminum plates that these bolt down to. Dual gas tanks? No, nope. one gas tank, two fills. And I would imagine that's nice for weight displacement. Yes, it's, it's up front, keeps the bow down. Another thing that I've noticed is there's no hardware for lights up front. Is this boat not meant to be driven at night? Whoa! That is very cool. There are two nautical mile lights, Coast Guard and Transport Canada approved. You and your team have done an incredible job here in the J-Craft studio, bringing these works of art to life and bringing them into the 21st century. Yep. And if I'm not overstepping anything here, can I get behind the wheel? Sure, let's go. All right.